I was taking pictures of uh, what happened out here earlier. GSU came and just tell me I can't have my camera, rush me, punch me in my jaw, try slam me down, and just totally disrespect me, man. All I'm doing is taking pictures. They done kill my stepson, rip out his chair upstairs at the boutique. It was a bloodbath. Pools of blood in the hallways. This one right at the back door. This one from the hallway into the bedroom. The fan still blowing and the radio on. And in the adjoining bedroom, another swath of blood. In this room, there was blood, and on the bed, some suspicious items, a box of latex gloves and what looks like a utility blade. Was it left behind by the scenes of crime team, or the killers, or was it just there? We can't see. Like these two red shirts left out to dry, the scarlet splash of blood on the cement floor. It leaves more questions than answers. I can't put a camera on what's going on. Because the crowd, including this mother, was swelling at the police line with a grim sense of foreboding. So, were you in their face? Were you like all up in their face? No, I was at my distance. They came and they just drove and as they drove and they just jumped out the truck and rushed me. But on the streets they wanted immediate answers and action and pretty soon they started to jump off when the police special assignment group descended at the corner of George and Bastard Street, which is where... And did they have any physical contact with you? Yes, they arrest me and punch one of them, the one that arrest me, punch me in my jaw. And that's what made... That's what made, made, that's what made everything jump up. <laughs> 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 Shots were fired on Bachelor Streets. The panic went out in waves nearby Westlake Lower School. Just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. two blocks from the action, pulled its doors mm -hmm. with parents mm -hmm. taking home their children. And in downtown Belize City, shutters started coming down. First was Gaylord, which had been looted in the 2005 riots. Other businesses followed as bogus word went out that there was a riot forming or marauding gunmen in the street. 
none of which were true. But the mere word of it was enough to cause mass closures and slam shutters even at the banks in the downtown area. The same at schools all across the city, this one on the north side, where parents called in panic, responding to rumors that there would be or had been a riot. With such widespread fear, parents got their kids home as best and as fast as they could, while Dean Street remained under lockdown.